Hey, crypto family. So today we're going to cover a couple news articles, and then we're going to go over some Bitcoin analysis at the end. So one of the first articles I want to cover is billionaire Mike Novogratz. So y'all probably known him from last year. He was a big proponent of Bitcoin. He holds a lot of Bitcoin, and he was actually going to open up his own hedge fund, but he scrapped those plans um, at the very last minute because he didn't see you know regulation and everything going as planned. But in saying that, he did. He does have a crypto investment firm called Galaxy Digital, and it says here that Novogratz's crypto investment firm Galaxy Digital has lost in excess of a hundred million throughout 2018, as the ongoing bear cycle for the industry extends into the final month of the year. Now, in saying that, he believes that big things are coming to crypto in 2019 and 2020. So it says, however, Novogratz has reiterated his long-term investment, his long-term commitment to the growth of blo both blockchain technologies and tokenized cryptocurrencies, even with the current volatile price situation. He says, while many have heard of the refrain of coming adoption and institutional investment, Novogratz is leveraging his position as the former Fortress Group hedge fund manager and Goldman Sachs partner to provide some assurance that he has a rosy outlook for crypto in the coming years. So he says he foresees there's going to be a lot of adoption in the next couple of years. And he says lots of items in the world, such as the e-gaming space, are low-value items. So he thinks people will be more comfortable participating in blockchain. We're making big investments in that area. So his company is looking to make big investments in that area. Specifically, they talk about Tron and it releasing Tron Arcade. So it's basically an initiative which amounts to a hundred million fund paid out through installments over the next three years. They seek to incentivize development and innovation for blockchain and crypto gaming on the Tron network. So again, you see a lot of these different cryptos, you know, trying to gain the initiative here on these new plans and these new applications. So Novogratz is pretty much saying that, you know, right now the SEC isn't really they don't see blockchain as, I guess you could say, something safe or something useful right now. So he's saying that basically, you know, as you get into these different spaces, then it becomes easier to adopt them, and that's how you gain mainstream adoption. And it says, Novogratz pointed to the actions of the United States SEC against cryptocurrency, including their decision to forego approval of a Bitcoin ETF at present, as introducing uncertainty to the market, which led to most of the recent sell-off. And he points to the recent sell-off um, because the SEC got a, got tough on a few fraudulent ICOs. And they mentioned personal investors can go for reparations in most cases. So people got nervous. Now, as we know, a lot of the big reason for the sell-off as well was because of the Bitcoin Cash and Bitcoin SV hash war going on. So again, it was a lot of things compounded. And basically the biggest thing here is that relationship between cryptocurrency and the SEC for 2019, and that being the main driving force for new growth, which paves the path for larger investors and companies who want to get into the industry. So biggest thing here is just, you know, a lot of these billionaires and, and millionaires are invested in cryptos right now, and truth is no one knows exactly where they're going to go. But, you know, he does make some good points about slowly, you know, getting blockchain into different apps and different um, different applications so that they become more useful and you know become easier for people to adopt them and just getting that relationship with the SEC to where they can regulate cryptos and just you know make the market more consumer friendly so to speak but I just want to bring that up and then another article is talks about coinbase and how they introduced PayPal withdrawals again now I believe they actually, already had these last year but it wasn't going as planned so they took it off but it says coinbase secretly introduces free paypal withdrawals and the reason it says secretly is because they didn't announce it on their twitter so basically it's free to withdraw and it says there's a quiet and swift move from the exchange and includes withdrawals of currencies like usd eur and gbp and it says the publication also added that this secret update will allow users to withdraw the above mentioned fiat currencies free of charge to their PayPal account. So it's a nice little addition, you know, Coinbase added that back, but it says that they haven't added deposits. So you still aren't able to deposit into PayPal, which I'm sure 
a lot of people would like. So that's still on the back burner right now, but it's just, you know, it goes just without saying that, you know, this is something really good that at least they're trying to get PayPal back in there. And, you know, those who know, I mean, PayPal is a huge, huge company and they, you know, they deal with a lot of money. So seeing that Coinbase is now adding that back, then hopefully, you know, we can get PayPal integrated with the blockchain and just accepting payments to where it'll just help that mainstream adoption that much more. So I just want to bring that up in case any of y'all, you know, like PayPal a lot and want to withdraw your money there instead, then, you know, you're able to do that now if you are, you know, are with these currencies. So it says, um, although users in Canada and Australia do not have access to withdrawals through PayPal, but are provided the option to sell their assets to CAD or AUD respectively. So again, not all countries can do it yet, but you know, a few can. So if you're on that list, then definitely, you know, make sure you use that if you want to. So now looking at the market here. So again, a green day, pretty good. We're holding that $4,100 level, which I spoke is very, very important. So if we can hold 4,000 to 4,100, I see that as very bullish. Um, Bitcoin's up 4% to 4,172. Ripple's up 2.5% to 37 cents. Ethereum's up 3.8% to $117. Then you have Stellar up 3.7% to 16.5 cents. And Bitcoin Cash up 4.7% to $178. Now, looking at Bitcoin here, I can see I drew that green support line at 4,100. Right now, it is on the verge of testing that, and hopefully we can hold that. This is on the four-hour chart, as well as I drew that support line on the RSI, which was resistance once we had the big fall from 6,200, and now is acting as support as we've gotten over it. So hopefully we can maintain over this 37 level. And then again, continue to hold this 4,100 level on Bitcoin. So it's going to be a big thing. And again, if we can continue holding this level, then the next resistance is going to be around 4,500 here. And then if we can break through that, then we're looking at that $5,000 level. So keep that in mind. And also the 50-day moving average for the four-hour chart is around $4,000. So that's why I said, you know, 4,000 to 4,100, if we can keep these then I believe it will be very bullish. So just keeping that in mind moving forward. But with that, if y'all enjoyed this video, please give it a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't. It really helps me spread the channel. So till next time, thanks for watching.